plate motion unit. Lesson 2.4, modeling plate mantle interactions. Activity three, exploring plate boundaries in the sim. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. As student geologists, you use physical models to better understand what happens at plate boundaries. After carefully reading, listening to earth, you created physical models to represent the natural world. You only had certain materials available, so the models were limited in accuracy. Now we use a digital model, the plate motion sim. For part one of the sim activity, you'll create two different scenarios. One in which rock is being added to the edges of both plates, and one in which the plate sinks into the mantle. You'll start by making predictions about the plate boundaries, and then take turns setting up each of the scenarios. After you run the sim, you'll, observe, you'll record your observations. Students, complete part one of the sim activity. What were your findings from part one of the sim activity? Notice the cross-section view for each plate boundary type. You should have found that rock is added to the edges of plate boundaries at divergent plate boundaries, and one plate sinks into the mantle and is destroyed at convergent plate boundaries. You've gathered evidence from the sim about what happens to the mantle and plates at divergent and convergent, convergent plate boundaries. Is there anything else you can learn about the differences between convergent and divergent plate boundaries from the sim that you weren't able to learn from other resources? Notice that the sim shows patterns of earthquakes and volcanoes. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. In part two of the sim activity, you'll use what you've learned about plate boundaries to identify and explain the interactions between the South American plate and the African plate. Students, examine your plate boundary comparison charts from the previous lesson. To identify what's happening at a particular plate boundary, we can look for general patterns at plate boundaries on Earth and see if those patterns match the ones at the boundary between the South American plate and the African plate. This chart helped you organize your thinking about different plate boundaries. In part two of the SIM activity, you can add notes, annotations, or drawings that might be helpful. Students, pay special attention to rows three, four, and five, the rows that, haven't been a, that you haven't been able to complete yet. Once you set up your plate boundary type in the sim, you'll want to turn on the toggles at the top to observe whether earthquakes and volcanoes occur at this plate boundary. Complete part two of the sim activity. Add evidence to your plate boundary comparison charts as you work with the sim. Students, be sure to complete your plate boundary comparison charts. Let's discuss our findings from part two of the sim activity. What did you observe? You may respond that you observed the pattern that earthquakes and volcanoes occur at convergent and divergent boundaries, that ridges occur at divergent boundaries, and that trenches occur at convergent boundaries. You may have seen different types of activity at plate boundaries. In chapter one of this unit, you investigated how plate motion is related to the sudden shaking of the Earth's surface. What is this shaking called? An earthquake. What is the connection between earthquakes and plate motion? What was the other type of activity associated with plate motion that you saw in the sim today? You might respond, plate motion causes earthquakes. You might also respond, volcanoes. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Vocabulary, volcanic activity, any of the many processes, such as eruptions and lava flows, in which gas, lava, and ash are pushed out onto the surface of Earth. Students, remember to look at a glossary if you need more support. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work in Amplify for this activity before moving on.